This is Ellen Berkovich for AdobeAirstream.com. We have with us this morning artists Mary Reed Kelly and Federico Solmi, who are both participating in the biennial. So thank you very much for agreeing to talk to us. Uh, I wanted to start off by asking you, I know that many animators, typically in the mind of people who know about animation, have a choice these days. They can, you can learn animation, you can go work for Pixar and um, be part of big teams working on projects that are known in the popular culture. Both of you are artists. Can you reflect a little bit about making that decision, turning animation into art? I started off as a painter and um, so I, <clears throat> it certainly wasn't for a love of or an affinity with or any skill with technology that I ended up doing some animation. Um, but what the, the role that the stop motion animation plays in my work is just being able to take um, the language to take those words and to um, materialize them and make them play physically with each other. Federico, yeah, how about that? was very interesting, like uh, in uh, uh, drawings and painting, at, uh, at one point uh, I wanted to build like a uh, narrative work and uh, animation was uh, 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 the inevitable uh, uh, consequences of like uh, uh, drawing and painting. So, but since day one when I start to like uh, work uh, on uh, animation, uh, I, f I felt there was an enormous potential of uh, uh, develop like uh, an experiment with new uh, media, a new technique, which uh, somehow, like with drawing and painting, you know, you know in a, a piece of paper and a cam canvas, you are very limited. You know, so I found like a, a incredible uh, open field to explore. So talk a little bit about the work that you're going to be showing in Santa mm -hmm. Fe, if you would. The, the goal of the the the, the installation is to somehow uh, investigate and uh, make a satire about uh, what happened to uh, the recently developed in the economic crash, you know. So, and uh, this character basically is placed in this uh, very scary scenario, which is Kudusbek City, to be punished for all of his uh, uh, crime against, uh, like, you know, uh, the individual. And Mary, I understand now you play the characters in You Make Me Iliad, which mm -hmm. you created for the biennial, correct? Right. Mm -hmm. Yes, I played the two main characters, um, which is uh, a German soldier, and the this is, I think, my my um, fourth film about or that takes place in World War One. But the um, this is the first German character I've done. Disappointed. In, in war, but not yet disappointed in art, and he's trying to kind of salvage his experience by writing an epic poem about his about the war, and um, and the form of the video takes is actually an epic poem in 101 um, uh, couplets, uh, iambic pentameter couplets mostly. When I, that you wrote? Yeah, that I wrote. Mm -hmm. And so there's two characters, the male and and a female character who is a Belgian prostitute. And um, I, I, another theme of my work that this continues is what women are doing um, during war, munitions worker, nurses, and um, I've been wanting to make work about um, the women who are prostitutes for a long time, but it was a challenge because there's so few primary um, sources from them. There's no diaries, there's no letters, there's just a handful of photographs, basically. So when Sarah and Daniel commissioned this, a year ago, it gave me an opportunity to kind of dig into... Um, I wanted to finish up by asking you guys, it just came out a few days ago that the Guggenheim Museum is going to invite artists to mm -hmm. compete by putting works on YouTube, mm -hmm. and one of the most immediately powerful opponents of that idea was none other than Robert Storr, Sarah mm -hmm. Lewis's mentor at Yale, who is going to be here on the running mm -hmm. the panel discussion two days from now. What do you guys think of this as artists? Is this good? I mean, uh, uh, definitely, like you know, uh, YouTube have uh, today a huge impact to uh, to the society in which we live, you know. So, and uh, uh, my work, for example, is on YouTube already because people they just go to the gallery and take like you know like a, a video and they just post it on YouTube. I haven't tried to make a, a judgment, although I did read Rob's criticism of it, and I think that he certainly has a valid point that museum shouldn't be like a revolving door, but. I mean, it's, it's only up for four days, and it just seems kind of like an experiment. Um, but I, I'm wondering if, 
people are seeing that there's all this enormous creative energy that's on YouTube that seems to be kind of separate from the art world. I mean, the art world, of course, has its own energy, but... So I guess I'm just kind of curious to see what they pick. Um. <laughs> it's not what one would have imagined to have been an art world controversy <laughs> ten <No>. years ago. <laughs> Mary Reed Kelly, Federico Salmi, videos in the show, You Make Me Iliad, and Douchebag City among the 26 participating artists. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.